You can either be a slave to your assumptions, or you can be their master. The psyche is the one creating all the drama in life. It creates the circumstances and events in your life as per your assumptions. What determines the outcomes in your life are the assumptions you hold for your future. And these assumptions either enslave you, or you will become their master. Mastering your assumptions may just be the single most important step to unimaginable freedom and happiness. You cannot demand freedom or happiness, but you can attain it. Around you is a 360 degree mirror hologram reflecting your inner world. If you don't like what you see, you will need to modify your assumptions to your liking with the conscious control of your imagination. In order to bring about better assumptions and therefore a desired outcome in your reality, you will need to form a mental image of your desire already fulfilled. The key to getting what you want is to imagine the final outcome or a desire already received. This mental image will require you to focus your attention on the feeling of that desire fulfilled. Neville Goddard explains, and it has been proven over and over, that if you can imagine yourself at the goal, feel how it feels and really immerse yourself in the feeling of the desire fulfilled, then you can consider it done. Visualize and feel what it is like to be that person to have that what you want. Our world is a mirror. If you can assume you have something you want, it is exactly what the mirror will reflect. The secret of all great magicians is the power of their assumptions. Although it is extremely simple and almost hard to believe it has the power to materialize desired results, but that is just it. Don't believe me, try it and allow yourself to be convinced. There is nothing to lose and so much to gain from this. The information is beyond valuable. It is pure gold. The feeling of being already in possession of that thing we want is all it takes for the mirror to understand what you want and give it to you. You need to feel yourself in this state and imagine how your world is formed. Think from it, not of it. You already have it. What do you do? How do you feel? The secret lies in well-sustained imagination and the goal is to develop a life like imagination. Identify yourself with your ideal outcome your ideal life, assume a life and fully identify yourself with it. Practice of imagination will help you. The mirror is pregnant with all possibilities and makes no judgment. It will just mirror back what you expect. Think from what you expect as you assume yourself to be. Remember, if you pray for rain, bring an umbrella. That's how you show you believe it. You take the fulfillment of it into consideration and you think from it throughout your day. This will make it feel more and more real. Thinking from a desire fulfilled is what ancient teachers called resting in the Lord. Resting in an image will transform into the image. Build a self-concept where you assume your desired reality to be true. Your reality will take on a form of everything you assume. Your current reality is a result of your previous subconscious assumptions programmed into you by social conditioning then backed by evidence in your experience only to prove your existing beliefs. Now, you have the knowledge of what you need to do to materialize evidence for a desired reality, consciously assumed. This is a solution to all of your problems, regardless of where you are in life. The great secret to all creation is controlled lifelike imagination and repeated focus on the feeling of the desire already fulfilled until it overtakes the mind and your external reality. By maintaining this feeling throughout your day and allowing it to set your mood, your desire will be materialized sooner. You have prayed, yet your desires didn't come about. This is because you were thinking and imagining what you are trying to avoid rather than what you want. When you call up at will whatever image you want, when the form of that image is as real as your real life, you will become the master of your own fate. When a single idea is powerfully repeated in your mind, the mirror will inevitably reflect it. Concentrate your attention exclusively on one idea. Allow the feeling of having it already color your emotions. Do this every night before sleep, as it is even better if after your imaginal act you fall asleep feeling as you already have it. When you pay attention to something you want, you are inviting that into your experience. Imagine a mirror reflecting all that you want 
and it uses your assumptions to find out what that is. The mirror will not change its reflection overnight, although in some cases it does happen. This will depend on how big your desire is. Until you see it in your external reality, you will need to stay indifferent to all the evidence against it. So if your desire is to have a certain amount of money and financial freedom, as you are moving through the day you need to ignore everything indicating any lack. Stay indifferent and remind yourself that it takes time for the new assumptions to take on a form. You need to trust that it is in progress and hold on to a feeling of having it, or that feeling of about to get it, any time now. You will only react to the outside world when it confirms your desire is coming. So you allow only the evidence supporting it to color your emotion. Have nothing to do with that which you wish not to see in your external reality. Don't look back and confirm you still don't see it. The universe will only confirm and this will sidetrack the manifestation. Instead look ahead and look out for everything indicating your desire is coming. Your job is to know what you want and to feel you have it. Leave the how it will happen to universal intelligence governing our reality. When you trust it, you don't try and micromanage it. This only shows doubt. When you order food in a restaurant, you don't follow the waiter to the kitchen and tell the chef which spices to use. So repeat the same when you are ordering your desire in your imagination. Our imagination is a tool and our mind should be used to create circumstances we need in our life. Most people use their mind to manage their existing resources. So if they make a certain amount of money, this is what they assume and that is what they accommodate their life to. I know common sense makes sense, but in the eyes of divine, pregnant with all possibilities with unlimited abundance for everyone who opens itself to it, managing existing resources is an underuse of your imagination. Don't expect your imagination to develop to lifelike on your first try. It requires practice. Incorporate as many physical senses as you can with time. Developing a good imagination is a skill that takes time just like developing muscles in the body, but it is well worth exercising it. Assume your new self-concept and your future will alter so much you won't need to focus on a desire fulfilled, it will be all around you. Thank you for watching and be sure to leave us a like and subscribe for the latest from the spiritual realm.